Okay, today we're going to paint this glide bait or the walk the dog. Yeah, walk the dog. But uh, we're going to paint this stencil today. We're going to see what it looks like. I don't have a clue what it looks like. Hopefully it comes out nice. And if it doesn't, I'm still going to say it looks nice. <laughs> But yeah, this is the stencil. It's not bad when you can make your own stencil, so it's not ugly at all. If you make your own homemade stencils at home, it's your own creation. Yeah, it really don't matter what it looks like. But I already can see on this side here, see it doesn't have that many holes in it. Let me flip on this side. See, it has all those holes. So, yeah. So, that's going to be... That's all right. I'm going to leave it just like that. I ain't going to mess with it. But, that's what I'm going to use. And, let me show you this one here. This one is... This one here. This stencil. All right. Let me show you guys something. You guys and girls something. Now, you see how that one is? How it goes? See how this one comes out? And it goes around. Now if you flip it to this side. It goes up. But when it comes around. It just goes straight down. Now. I fixed it already. But it has to come out. And then over. So. That's this side here. See how. If it goes on there now. See the gap. So, next time I'll do it, it, it'll look at least a little more uniform to each other. But this is a cool pattern. This is uh, all fluorescent. Fluorescent orange, fluorescent purple, fluorescent green. That's all it is. That came out sweet, sweet beans. Look at the segments. So yeah, that's a homemade stencil. You can make some really nice looking baits. Realistic. Look at the, the segments. The bottom is all handmade. You got to do the bottom on your own. But yeah, like I said, homemade stencils really come out some really nice, really, 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 really nice stuff. It's the colors my girlfriend picked out. Oh, I can't wait to do what I'm going. What I'm thinking about doing is having it's going this side here be like a raccoon perch, the yellow one black, and then it'll be like a another bass or another perch on the front like a white perch on the front and then a yellow perch in the back oh that would be neat yeah i'm gonna try something like that eventually that would be cool that's this homemade stencil I'm telling you homemade stencil 3d you can have your mind wandering man. you can do all types of stuff just do whatever don't limit yourself all right, let's get to, let me show you the colors I'm going to use. It's going to be real, real quick, real couple colors, and that's it. All right, hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, this is the color I, this is the colors I'm going to be using today. I mixed the white and the sand. This is the only time I really use this color is when I mix it with stuff because I like to dirty it up a little bit. So I basically dirtied up the white, just made it a little off-white. Just a couple drops. I only used two drops of this sand, and then the rest of the was all white. Just a lot in here, so yeah, this goes a long way. So yeah, all I did was just muddy the white up. That's basically the base coat, and then I'm gonna use the red, and then the black outlining, and that's it. Just the basic red. 
basic black. That's it. All right, let's have some fun now. done with the white and uh, as you can see well, let me get you right there we go see there's a couple marks on top of the bait from where the wood burning tool chipped it up a little bit as soon as you dip it it'll be all right on the bottom too a couple little marks under here back there but it's all right all right, now it's time to put the stencil on. Stencil, red, and then black. And then I'm gonna do the bottom. Do the bottom with this homemade stencil I made. I'm trying to mimic the bottom of a snake if I can. I'm gonna try, I don't know if it was gonna work. All right, let's put the stencil on. I'll be right back. I'm back, got the stencil on. Hopefully it doesn't scratch it up too bad so I don't have to do too much of a touch up. Hopefully it doesn't scratch it up too bad. see now I'm just got to do the black outlining around each spot and then do the outlining on the bottom and the face eyeballs and we're done didn't clean the gun out either airbrush still got
time for the big reveal. All right. So he set it up. Let me make sure you get a quick blast real fast. Oh, man. I am excited. Oh, yeah. Can't wait to see what this looks like. Could look cool. Could be ugly. It's time for the big reveal. Hopefully they don't scratch it up too bad. Okay, look at that. Alright, you know what? It's not so bad. Kind of has a... A snake vibe a little bit. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's pretty neat. I think I just need some more outlining on the black. That's all I need, some more outlining. And then do the bottom. And it's pretty nice. Yeah, boy. I'm excited. All right, this is going to catch some bass right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll be back. I'm going to put the stencil back on it. Add some more black to it. All right, I'm back. Just wanted to show you. See, I had a couple of the scratches. Not many, just a couple little dots. But that's easy. You can just hit it with a little black on top of the little dots, and that's it. Not many scratches at all. So that's a good thing. So we can always touch that up. What I'm going to do is, it's all done. She's ready to go. I got to do the details. That's why I have, I don't know exactly what I'm going to use. Maybe this one. That one looks about right. I'm too big. That one's going to be too big. So yeah, it looks like it's going to be this small one. I'm going to run this. All the way down and then uh, put this on here first and then yeah run this down there you go I got it. I had to figure it out myself but yeah this is sweet has a little spot right there you gotta touch up but yeah this is what this is what we call in the game a bass catcher yeah, this is going to catch bass right here. This sweet. Looks like a, a mini snake. All right, let me turn it around. Hold on one. On back. I stuck a wire hanger that I hang the lure on across it so this way it'll stay on a little better. Check that out. Easier. Easier for me to work with. First thing first, we're going to put this on here. All right. This is where the music begins. Right about here.
that. So I did the segments. Now off camera, I'm just going to tie it all together. But yeah, this is starting to come out pretty neat. But yeah, I'll be right back. We just got to put eyeballs on and I actually found some red white and black eyes so it's gonna match perfect match the hatch nice right there that looks nice right there eyes are in I did a little detail I put a little bit of red on the face I did the bottom detail all right well I'm gonna stick it in a UV box I'll be back okay I'm back check it out yeah it came out sweet I did the detail on the face you know, underneath the snake, it has those segments. So 
So I try to mimic the semic. You know what I mean. You know I can't talk. You know I talk funny. So don't laugh at me. That's not nice. <laughs> That's not nice. Check the segments out. The little dots is where the I scratch it up, but hey, it just looks like a little added detail. It's the size of segments on this side. Look like it would be moving for real. Yeah, it came out really, 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 really nice. I'll be making another one, but I'll be making it black and blue. I thought you knew. And I'll be making another stencil, too, because I think there's too many, too many little segments. I'm going to try to make just bigger segments. On the next one I'll make, it's just going to be maybe three or four real big segments and then little, little parts, maybe. But yeah, it's not going to be this many, this many spots. Oh yeah, that's sweet. That came out nice. Oh, you know, I wanted to show you. Look, I did paint a snake before. With uh, pearl. Actually, this is all pearl colors. Or, you know, some of it's pearl. And I wanted to show you guys something, you guys and girls. I made this with a cork, a wine cork. I want to say 15, 20 years ago, maybe. It's, um, yeah, about, yeah, about 15 years ago I made this. From, uh, so, so say I, I, uh, man, I'm, when it comes to fishing, I try to create and do my own thing. Since I was a kid, I was making fishing lures. Since I was young. Yeah, these are out of cork. And I actually, I actually uh, caught fish on these. I got pictures somewhere on one of my old old uh, phones or old pictures and those pictures that you take to develop. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's how old it is. But yeah, these are old. I'm going to put these are getting put up. But yeah, I made them by hand. Way a long, long, long time ago. But yeah. I think I'm going to call it Walking the Snake. I think that's what's good. I think that's what the title's going to be called, Walking the Snake. But yeah. It's all done. Ready to go. If it was hot, I'd be fishing it. But it's cold. All right. My name is Rick. I hope you like it. And I'm out.